In this video, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to turn your Twitch live streams into Instagram Reels or TikToks. And to do that, we're gonna be using Eclipse.gg. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set it up. I'm also gonna show you how to import your live streams from Twitch, Facebook, or YouTube. And hopefully by the end of this video, you'll see if this is right for you. Also disclaimer, this video is sponsored by Eclipse.gg, but I'm still gonna give you a full review like I normally do. Okay, so to get started, first thing you're gonna do is set up your free account. And then you're gonna go ahead and connect your Facebook page your YouTube channel or your Twitch channel, or all three if you have them. And it will automatically pick up your live streams that you did. So I am not a live streamer, so I can't show you my past live streams, but I do have a gameplay video that I did recently of Pokemon Legends Arceus. And I'm gonna go ahead and use that right now. All I gotta do is get the URL from my YouTube video, go ahead and paste it over here, and then click on submit. Before I click on submit, it's worth noting that Eclipse.gg is free to try. When you sign up, you can try it out with three videos. So as you can see over here, I got three tries left. So let's go ahead and submit it. It's asking me to confirm my video. I'm gonna go ahead and click on confirm. So now it is generating highlights from that 40 minute video. It says it may take a few hours, but it probably will be done faster than that. So I'm gonna let it do its thing and then I'm gonna check back on it later. All right, it's been about two to three hours since I imported my video. And I got an email saying that my clips were ready. As you can see right here, I got seven clips from that 45 minute video I did. And you might get more clips depending on how long your stream is and depending on what is going on in your stream. Since I was playing Pokemon Legends Arceus, there was a lot of talking. There was not that much action. I assume if you were playing a game with more action and more things going on, you'll get more clips. All right, so here we go. We got a couple of clips. Let's go ahead and play this one right here. Okay, so you know, that's a pretty good clip because that was a part where I was explaining um, a mod that I was using in the game. And it knew when I was starting to explain the mod. So I think that's a pretty good clip. Let me go ahead and, oh, so you can go ahead and download the clip if you want to edit it yourself. You can go ahead and click on Convert to TikTok Reels. I'm actually going to go back and pick another one. But for now, let's look at the three templates that you got. This is split, so your face will be on the bottom and the gameplay will be on the top. Full screen is just all the gameplay and no face cam. But my personal advice, always show your face in the videos. It makes it more personal and people want to see you and they want to see your reaction. And the third option is the small face cam. I guess that one is good depending on your gameplay, if you want to have your gameplay in the focus. But yeah, like I said, my personal preference is the split screen. I want to go ahead and pick a different clip, maybe something with a little bit of action going on. Oh, I think this is a good one. This, wait, let me see. And you can already tell it, it picked a, a scene where I was laughing. Let me see, hopefully it got like the whole battle scene. It did. It got to the beginning. Okay, I got, I got a, this one, I will have to trim it a little bit. I think this one, I'm going to use it as an example. I might actually post this on my Instagram. You know, maybe Grappler could do it. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a really good moment. And I'm glad that I picked that up. Also, keep in mind that this video I did was just a test. I wasn't really trying to make anything exciting or make something that's, you know, Instagram or TikTok worthy. I was just playing casually. Let me go ahead and try and make that into a uh, Instagram reel and I will post it on my Instagram. Okay, so it makes it very easy to edit. All you gotta do is select your face. So my face is right here. Yes, we can crop it. And now I am picking where I want the video to start. Okay, so 128 to 140. Okay, I think that should be good. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and pick the gameplay area. This fits perfectly right there. And now let's go ahead and see how it looks. You can put your face cam on the top or the bottom of the screen. I normally leave it on the bottom. All right, and uh, I think that looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna leave it like that. Let's go ahead and confirm. All right, so now saying my video is gonna be transcoded and it's gonna take about five minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and get back to it in a bit. After a few minutes, I got the email, the download link to the edited video. And let's go ahead and take a look at it. You know, maybe Grappler could do it. <laughs> the video came out pretty good. It is in 1080p. I'm probably going to trim it a little bit on Instagram and add some text to it. But overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Now let's go back to the clips because I want to show off that Eclipse did a great job of finding out the good moments during my gameplay session. In this highlight right here, I ranked up and I don't know how Eclipse figured it out that I ranked up. So if you level up or if you get a new trophy, Eclipse should be able to find that moment in your live stream. 
So you can see right here, and I did not pick these clips. I did not pick these moments. Eclipse figured it out by itself that I ranked up, and it knew that was an important moment. And you can see on the right-hand side, it says best for TikTok or on Twitter. So I guess in this clip, Eclipse figured out that I was leveling up my Pokemon. And highlight number seven, what happened over here? It figured out new Pokemon. So that is it for my review on Eclipse.gg. I am actually really impressed with how it was able to pick out the best moments from that gameplay video. As I said before, it is free to sign up and free to try. So I highly recommend using this for anyone that live streams. There is a link in the video description below. And if you do try it out, be sure to let me know in the comments below.